inside the Chinese lab poised to study world's most dangerous pathogens. 在中国的实验室里，准备研究世界上最危险的病原体。Maximum Security Biolab is part of plan to build network of BSL-4 facilities across China. 最高安全生物实验室是在中国建立。BSL-4 设施网络计划的一部分。David Siranowski， 大卫，希拉诺斯基。22 February 2017 2017年2月22日 Updated Hazard suits hang at the National Biosafety Laboratory, Wuhan, the first lab on the Chinese mainland equipped for the highest level of biocontainment. 位于武汉的国家生物安全实验室悬挂着危险防护服。这是中国大陆第一个装备了最高级别生物防护设备的实验室。A laboratory in Wuhan is on the cusp of being cleared to work with the world's most dangerous pathogens. The move is part of a plan to build between five and seven biosafety level four BSL-4 labs across the Chinese mainland by 2025, and has generated much excitement. As well as some concerns. Wuhan 的一个实验室即将被清理出来。用于研究世界上最危险的病原体。这一举措是2025年前在中国大陆建设五至七个生物安全四级 BSL-4 实验室计划的一部分，引起了很多兴奋和担忧。Some scientists outside China worry about pathogens escaping and the addition of a biological dimension to geopolitical tensions between China and other nations. But Chinese microbiologists are celebrating their entrance to the elite cadre, empowered to wrestle with the world's greatest biological threats. 中国以外的一些科学家担心病原体会逃逸，担心中国和其他国家之间的地缘政治紧张局势会增加生物因素。但是，中国的微生物学家们正在庆祝他们进入这个。被授权与世界上最大的生物威胁搏斗的精英团队。It will offer more opportunities for Chinese researchers, and our contribution on the BSL-4 level pathogens will benefit the world, says George Go, director of the Chinese Academy of Sciences Key Laboratory of Pathogenic Microbiology and Immunology in Beijing. There are already two BSL-4 labs in Taiwan, but the National Biosafety Laboratory, Wuhan. Would be the first on the Chinese mainland. Beijing China Science Institute Infectious Disease Research and Immunology Center Research Director Qiao Zhi Gao said, "This will give Chinese researchers more opportunities. We have contributed to BSL-4 and COVID-19 in particular." Taiwan has two BSL-4 research centers, but the National Biosafety Laboratory will be the first. The lab was certified as meeting the standards and criteria of BSL-4 by the China National Accreditation Service for Conformity Assessment (CNAS) in January. The CNAS examined the lab's infrastructure, equipment, and management, says a CNAS representative, paving the way for the Ministry of Health to give its approval. A representative from the ministry says it will move slowly and cautiously. If the assessment goes smoothly, it could approve the laboratory by the end of June. 今年一月，该实验室通过了中国合格评定认可委员会 （CNAS） 的认证，符合 BSL-4 的标准和标准。CNAS 检查了实验室的基础设施、设备和管理。CNAS 的一位代表说。这位卫生部的批准铺平了道路。卫生部的一位代表说，他们将缓慢而谨慎地进行评估。如果评估进展顺利，他们可能会在六月底批准该实验室的建设。BSL-4 is the highest level of biocontainment. Its criteria include filtering air and treating water and waste before they leave the laboratory. And stipulating that researchers change clothes and shower before and after using lab facilities. Such labs are often controversial. The first BSL-4 lab in Japan was built in 1981, but operated with lower-risk pathogens until 2015, when safety concerns were finally overcome. BSL-4 is the highest level of biocontainment. Its criteria include filtering air and treating water before leaving the laboratory, and stipulating that researchers change clothes and shower before and after using lab facilities. Such labs are often controversial. The first BSL-4 lab in Japan was built in 1981, but operated with lower-risk pathogens until 2015, when safety concerns were finally overcome. BSL-4 is the highest level of biocontainment. Its criteria include filtering air and treating water before and after using lab facilities. 这样的实验室经常引起争议。
。日本的第一个 BSL-4 实验室建于1981年，但一直使用低风险病原体。直到2015年，安全问题最终得到解决。The expansion of BSL-4 lab networks in the United States and Europe over the past 15 years, with more than a dozen now in operation or under construction in each region, also met with resistance, including questions about the need for so many facilities. 在过去15年中，美国和欧洲的 BSL-4 实验室网络的扩展也遇到了阻力，包括对如此多设施的需求问题。目前，每个地区都有十多个 BSL-4 实验室网络在运行或建设中。Virus is done. T no borders. 病毒不分国界。The Wuhan lab cost 300 million yuan, 44 million US dollars, and to allay safety concerns, it was built far above the floodplain and with a capacity to withstand a magnitude 7 earthquake. Although the area has no history of strong earthquakes. It will focus on the control of emerging diseases, store purified viruses, and act as a World Health Organization reference laboratory linked to similar labs around the world. It will be a key node in the global biosafety lab network, says lab director Yuan Ziming. Wuhan research laboratory is worth 3 billion yuan and 4,400 million yuan. To reduce people's fears for safety, the research facility is located in a remote area. 具有抵御七级地震的能力，尽管该地区从未发生过强烈地震。它将致力于控制新出现的疾病、储存纯化病毒，并作为世界卫生组织的参考实验室与世界各地的类似实验室联系起来。它将成为全球生物安全实验室网络的一个关键节点。实验室主任袁志明说 ：“The Chinese Academy of Sciences approved the construction of a BSL-4 laboratory in 2003, and the epidemic of SARS severe acute respiratory syndrome around the same time lent the project momentum. The lab was designed and constructed with French assistance as part of a 2004 cooperative agreement on the prevention and control of emerging infectious diseases. But the complexity of the project, China's lack of experience.” Difficulty in maintaining funding and long government approval procedures meant that construction WASNT finished until the end of 2014. 2003年，中国科学院批准了 BSL-4 实验室的建设。与此同时 ，SARS 严重急性呼吸综合症的流行也为该项目提供了动力。这个实验室是在法国的协助下设计和建造的。是2004年预防和控制新发传染病的合作协议的一部分，但是这个项目的复杂性、中国经验的缺乏、维持资金的困难以及冗长的政府审批程序，意味着这个项目直到2014年底才完工。The lab's first project will be to study the BSL-3 pathogen that causes Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever, a deadly tick-borne virus that a FFECTS livestock across the world, including in northwest China, and that can jump to people. 该实验室的第一个项目将是研究导致克里米亚刚果病毒性出血热的 BSL-3 病原体，一种致命的皮传病毒，影响世界各地的牲畜，包括中国西北部的牲畜。可以传染给人类。Future plans include studying the pathogen that causes SARS, which also DOESNT require a BSL-4 lab before moving on to Ebola and the West African Lassa virus, which do. Some one million Chinese people work in Africa. The country needs to be ready for any eventuality, says Yuan. Virus is done. T no borders. 未来的计划包括研究引起 SARS 的病原体。这也不需要一个 BSL-4 实验室，然后研究埃博拉病毒和西非拉沙病毒。大约有一百万中国人在非洲工作，这个国家需要为任何可能发生的情况做好准备。原说，病毒不分国界。Go travel to Sierra Leone during the recent Ebola outbreak, allowing his team to report the speed with which the virus mutated into new strains. One. The Wuhan lab will give his group a chance to study how such viruses cause disease and to develop treatments based on antibodies and small molecules, he says. 高在最近的埃博拉疫情爆发期间，前往塞拉利昂
让他的团队报告了病毒变异为新病毒的速度。他说，武汉实验室将给他的团队一个机会，研究这些病毒是如何引起疾病的。并开发基于抗体和小分子的治疗方法。The Central Monitor Room at China as National Biosafety Laboratory。中国国家生物安全实验室中央监控室。The opportunities for international collaboration, meanwhile, will aid the genetic analysis and epidemiology of emergent diseases. The world is facing more new emerging viruses, and we need more contribution from China, says Go. In particular. The emergence of zoonotic viruses, those that jump to humans from animals, such as SARS or Ebola, is a concern, says Bruno Lena, director of the Virpath Virology Lab in Lyon, France. 同时，国际合作的机会将有助于突发疾病的遗传分析和流行病学。世界正面临着更多新出现的病毒，我们需要中国做出更多贡献。高说。位于法国里昂的 v i r p a t h 病毒学实验室主任布鲁诺·丽娜说：“尤其值得关注的是动物传染病毒的出现。那些从 SARS 或埃博拉病毒等动物传染给人类的病毒。Many staff from the Wuhan lab have been training at a BSL-4 lab in Lyon, which some scientists find reassuring. And the facility has already carried out a test run using a low-risk virus. 武汉实验室的许多工作人员一直在里昂的 BSL-4 实验室接受培训。一些科学家对此感到放心。该设施已经使用一种低风险病毒进行了试运行。But worries surround the Chinese lab too. The SARS virus has escaped from high-level containment facilities in Beijing multiple times. Notes Richard Wright, a molecular biologist at Rutgers University in Piscataway, New Jersey. Tim Trevin, founder of Chrome Biosafety and Biosecurity Consulting in Damascus, Maryland, says that an open culture is important to keeping BSL-4 labs safe, and he questions how easy this will be in China, where society emphasizes hierarchy, diversity of viewpoint. Flat structures where everyone feels free to speak up and openness of information are important, he says. 但中国实验室也存在担忧。位于皮斯卡塔维的罗格斯大学的分子生物学家 Richard Ebright 指出 ，SARS 病毒已经多次从北京的高级防控设施中逃脱。马里兰州大马士革的 Chrome 生物安全和生物安保咨询公司 Chrome Biosafety and Biosecurity Consulting 的创始人蒂姆·特雷文 Tim Trevin 说：“开放的文化对于保证 BSL-4 实验室的安全非常重要。他质疑在中国这样做会有多容易，因为观点的多样性。”每个人都可以畅所欲言的扁平结构以及信息的公开性都很重要。他说 ，Yuan says that he has worked to address this issue with staff. We tell them the most important thing is that they report what they have or haven't done. He says, and the lab's international collaborations will increase openness. Transparency is the basis of the lab. He adds. Yuan 说他已经和员工一起解决了这个问题。他表示。我们告诉他们，最重要的是，他们要报告自己已经做或没有做的事情。实验室的国际合作将增加开放性。透明度是实验室的基础。他补充道 ：“The plan to expand into a network heightens such concerns. One BSL-4 lab in Harbin is already awaiting accreditation. The next two are expected to be in Beijing and Kunming.” The latter focused on using monkey models to study disease. 扩张成一个网络的计划加剧了这种担忧。哈尔滨的一个 BSL-4 实验室已经在等待认证。接下来的两个实验室预计将在北京和昆明。后者专注于利用猴子模型研究疾病。Lena says that China's size justifies this scale. And that the opportunity to combine BSL-4 research with an abundance of research monkeys, Chinese researchers face less red tape than those in the West when it comes to research on primates, could be powerful. If you want to test vaccines or antivirals, you need a non-human primate model, says Lina. Lina 表示，中国的规模证明了这种规模的合理性。
，而将 BSL4 研究与大量研究猴子结合起来的机会可能是强大的。在灵长类动物研究方面，中国研究人员面临的繁文缛节比西方研究人员少。如果你想测试疫苗或抗病毒药物，你需要一个非人类灵长类动物模型。Lena 说 ，But a bride is not convinced of the need for more than one BSL-4 lab in mainland China. He suspects that the expansion there is a reaction to the networks in the United States and Europe, which he says are also unwarranted. He adds that governments will assume that such excess capacity is for the potential development of bioweapons. 但是。埃布赖特并不认为中国大陆需要不止一个 BSL-4 实验室。他怀疑那里的扩张是对美国和欧洲网络的反应。他说这也是毫无根据的。他补充说，各国政府会认为这种过剩产能是为了生物武器的潜在开发。These facilities are inherently dual use, he says. The prospect of ramping up opportunities to inject monkeys with pathogens also worries, rather than excites him. They can run, they can scratch, they can bite. 他表示，这些设施本质上具有双重用途。为了增加给猴子注射病原体的机会，他担心，而不是兴奋。他们可以跑，可以抓，可以咬。Trevin says China's investment in a BSL-4 lab may, above all, Be a way to prove to the world that the nation is competitive. It is a big status symbol in biology, he says. Whether it s a need or not, 特雷万说，中国对 B S L minus four 实验室的投资，首先可能是向世界证明中国具有竞争力的一种方式。在生物学中，这是一个重要的身份象征。他说，不管这是不是一种需要 ，Nature 自然542。三百九十九至四百，三百九十九至四百，二十三。February twenty seventeen， 二零一七年二月二十三。